Hey, I'm Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a classic recipe everyone needs to know, pound cake. This is a simple and delicious vanilla pound cake recipe. It's my favorite. It smells amazing. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Pound cake is one of my favorite cakes for so many reasons. I love how simple it is and it's just you get really get all the flavors of the ingredients that go in it because there's not a ton of ingredients. I love the classic vanilla flavor. I love that it's dense and but moist. Um, I also love that you don't have to frost it. It makes it super easy to make because you can dust it with some powdered sugar or serve it with some berries and whipped cream. It's such an easy recipe and it's nice to not have to worry about layering layers of cake and icing between them and making everything look perfect. The original pound cake recipe weighed four pounds because it had four ingredients weighing a pound each, a pound of butter, eggs, sugar, and flour. <laughs> Crazy, right? This recipe is very similar, but a little bit different, and it's my favorite one. For delicious desserts, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen and make this pound cake recipe. When you're making a cake, it's really important to prepare your pans before you start mixing because you wanna get the batter into the pans and into the oven um, as soon as it's done mixing. So go ahead and make sure your oven is preheated and then we're gonna prepare a bunt pan. Um, these come in all different shapes and sizes. I actually got this one at the grocery store, if you believe it or not. It's my favorite one. I have two of them from the grocery store. It's like $10. So I highly recommend just grabbing yourself a simple bunt pan. I like to grease and flour it. Now you can use the spray that has flour in it, like the cooking spray, um, but I'm using Crisco or you could use butter, grease the pan, add some flour to it, and then pat the pan around to try and spread that flour around. You don't, because of all the nooks and crannies in the, um, in the pan and because it's round, it's hard to like get a knife in there when you wanna turn out your cake. So you wanna make sure it's really, really well uh, floured and greased so that it won't stick in your pan. Now the original pound cakes had a pound each of butter, flour, sugar, and eggs. Um, we're gonna change up that recipe just a little bit to make my favorite one. Uh, we're gonna start with three sticks of butter. That's one and a half cups or three quarters of a pound of butter. Make sure that it's room temperature. In fact, you wanna make sure and leave all of your ingredients out um, so that you can, your eggs, your sour cream, your butter, you wanna make sure they're all room temperature when we start mixing. So go ahead and add your sticks of butter to your mixer. I love using a stand mixer for this or you could use a hand mixer. I don't recommend doing this by hand. Go ahead and kind of mix that butter a little bit, making sure to scrape it so it doesn't get stuck to the paddle, um, just to smooth it out. And then you're gonna add sugar. We're gonna add two and three quarters cups of sugar to the butter. And you're going to run the mixer to cream it for about one to two minutes. Make sure that you're scraping down the sides of the bowl and making sure that like the butter sugary clumps don't get stuck in the paddle and make sure to dig down to the bottom of the bowl so where like some of those things collect in the bottom of a mixer. Once your butter and your sugar are creamed, then you're gonna add your eggs. And we're gonna add six large eggs one at a time. And I recommend cracking them into a ramekin or a small bowl and then adding them separately so that you don't, uh, don't crack them right into your bowl. You don't wanna end up with shells in there. So go ahead and add each egg, mixing in between a little bit until you have all six eggs. And then go ahead and mix it for about another 30 seconds, scraping the bowl um, until it's combined. Now, pound cake, because of all the eggs, doesn't necessarily need leavening like baking soda or baking powder. But I am gonna add a little bit of baking powder because I'm gonna add some sour cream to this cake. And I don't want it to be too heavy and not rice. So go ahead and add just a little bit of baking powder. Then you're gonna add vanilla and salt as well. I love adding vanilla to my pound cake. Just gives it that one little bit extra flavor. All right, once that's mixed, then we're gonna add sour cream, cornstarch, and all-purpose flour. Now, why am I using cornstarch and flour? It's because if you wanna make your own homemade cake flour, um, it will have cornstarch and flour in it. So why cornstarch? All right, so the reason I'm adding cornstarch to this is because um, I'm not using cake flour. I'm using all purpose. Now, why am I not using cake flour? Because I don't like to. I forget to buy it, for one. It's not one of those ingredients that I regularly have in my pantry. And even if, it, if I have it normally because I bake all the time, you might not have it in your pantry, but chances are you have cornstarch and all-purpose flour. So 
That's why I'm adding some cornstarch. It adds a little bit of softness, makes the cake a little bit lighter. Have you ever heard of adding like pudding mix to a bound cake before? Well, pudding mix just has cornstarch in it. So that's the reason for adding that is to keep it nice and moist and light and fluffy. And so instead of worrying about having cake flour, I just add some cornstarch in with my all purpose. Then you're gonna mix that together. It's not gonna take very long, but stop mixing as soon as it's done. And then go ahead and take your spatula, like wipe off the paddles. Um, and I like to make sure and scrape the sides of the bowl and scrape down in the bottom again of the bowl. Cause especially if you're using a stand mixer, sometimes those things um, like the ingredients will collect down at the bottom and not get fully incorporated. All right, and then we are ready to add the cake batter to our pan. So go ahead and pour the cake batter carefully into your prepared pan, spread it around on top. And then you're gonna pop that into a 350 degree oven and you're gonna bake it for about an hour. Now, after 30 minutes of baking, I like to rotate my pan. A lot of ovens cook um, hotter in the back, so I like to rotate it just to make sure it doesn't get too brown on one side. And then um, I usually set it for about 50 minutes total and then check it um, with a toothpick or a long skewer. Um, you don't, you just want maybe like a tiny bits of crumbs to come out. This cake always takes me 58 to 60 minutes in my oven. So that's about how long it will take. Once our cake is cool, we're gonna turn it out onto our cake plate. So let's do that now. Now, I have my cake plate and I have my baked cake. Now to do this, what you're gonna do is you're going to set the cake plate on top of the bunt pan and then you're going to turn it upside down like so. And you're gonna tap it and you might have to bang it a few times to get it to come out. And voila. It's good to do this when the cake is still a little bit warm. If you wait till it cools completely, it's gonna, there's more of a chance of it sticking. So this cake has been cooling for about a half an hour. I can touch it. It's not hot to the touch anymore, but it's still a little bit warm um, and it popped right out easy. Um, now what I like to do is just simply dust this with some powdered sugar for serving. Now, if you wanna frost this, you definitely can make one of my delicious buttercream recipes um, to put on top, but I love just a light dusting of powdered sugar, maybe some berries. Um, this cake is, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I cannot wait to dig into this cake. I'm gonna go cut myself a slice while you keep watching. Pound cake is such a classic recipe. I think it started in the South. 